We're here at Region 10's 22nd Annual Technology Conference. I am excited to be here with Caleb. You are with Connected for Learning. Yes, Caleb, tell me about Connected for Learning. Where, where did it start? How did it come to fruition? Well, Connected for Learning is a one-to-one -one initiative, and what I mean by that is students and teachers sort of bridge a gap so we can collaborate and learn and teach more efficiently. Um, it had a two-year preparation mm -hmm. with our tech administration mm -hmm. and an organization, which I'm also part of, uh, called the Superintendent's Advisory Committee, uh, created where it has our superintendent uh, and uh, various administration by a side to communicate with a male and female um, representative of each class and we would also collaborate and see how we can make our school more efficient and um, more collaborative and learn uh, in the best and most enjoyable way possible mm -hmm. uh, which we then prepared uh, having our laptops together to see how they work uh, get a good understanding of them and once we understood that uh, we can really use this to make the classroom more efficient and more fun. Uh, we create an organization um, where it's, which is called Connected for Learning. Mm -hmm. um, we call ourselves the Crumb Squad. I love and, that. And so we um, we go we have we wait in the lounge and we do what we can in there um, online entirely, and then we will get stuff like phone calls, um, waiting list emails, and we will go to. Uh, we will go to the teachers and our students and see how, how, what we can help them in any way possible. You know, what I find fascinating about this is, Caleb, you are 16 years old. Yes, ma'am. You're in high school. Mm -hmm. So, sophomore. the Chrome, sophomore in high school, the Chrome Squad, you guys are high school students that are in the classroom, in lounges, helping other high school students with their laptops, technology, helping them learn, which absolutely. I find absolutely fascinating to me because when I was in school we did not have this so um, tell me a little bit about that and exactly kind of go more into depth about what you guys do and how you guys help the other students do you find that it's helpful for the students absolutely. as opposed to having a teacher help them yeah absolutely that's the thing is uh, not only do we help students but we also help teachers and doing that uh, having that sort of communication uh, they and uh, the students also have a good understanding of what it means to have that sort of communication to uh, have a more prosperous learning method um, with a younger generation. Basically what he's saying is he's down with the lingo the teachers are not because, That's you know, it. the kids, they talk different these days. Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, another thing is, you know, no day is like it was before. Mm -hmm. and it's, that's very interesting to me is we're always doing something different. I find that super fascinating. Uh, mm -hmm. I've had a lot of, I, I guess the best word I can find is interesting situations mm -hmm. I've been in. Uh, for example, uh, one day I get a call down to our pro professional communications class where a student had accidentally set her language setting on her laptop to Arabic. Okay. And doing that, not only does it change the language everywhere on the computer, right. but it also changes the format. So I had to actually take a day to learn basic words in Arabic that you would find on a computer to go back to her computer and change it back to English. And So, so fascinating to me. I, I know a, a, sl a sliver of Arabic now. So. You, are gonna, you know what, sir, Caleb, this man, this is the man you got to watch out for. He's, you're going to be something one day. You're going to be something one day. This is amazing. Thank you so much for being here with us. Connected for Learning is the program. This is Caleb. He's the Chrome Squad. We're here again at the 26, 22nd Annual Region 10 Technology Conference.